Joan Fabio. I am a member of the board of ESNA. Unfortunately, um, 25 years, Barry Schneider has been opening these meetings. But he will not be opening this meeting today because he had a medical emergency and uh, he's in the hospital. And as such, Judy is uh, attending to him, so she also is not here today. Uh, he's resting well, and he is looking forward to a speedy release. It's, it's really unfortunate that the two of them are not here, because the board had planned a surprise for the two of them. The board had planned to give both Barry and Judy a thank you award. And they're not here, so I have to give them the thank you award in absentia. So, having said that, uh, I want to start by just talking a little bit about Barry. Barry, along um, with some other interested advocates, planned um, a successful negotiation with the MTA back in 1992, not to put the parking lot on the southeast corner of 63rd Street and 2nd Avenue. Instead, um, we got what became the beautiful sculpture garden. After that, Barry became a member of Community Board 8, and he continued over the next 30 years to advocate for the neighborhood. It would take too much time for me to summarize everything that Barry had done for the neighborhood. So let me just read what the award says that will be presented to you. A special thank you award is presented to Barry Schneider for his tireless efforts creating a spirit of neighborhood promoting the goals of the community and making ESMA into the beacon of the Upper East Side. Now, as for Judy, this expression is behind every great man is a great woman. In this case, it's alongside every great man is a great woman, and that's Judy Schneider. Judy has been the go-to person to get things done. She currently serves as chair of the Clarks and Waterford Committee of Community Board Eight, And that's a continuation of the work she did to create three new parks in our neighborhood. Tramway, Honey Locust, and Andrew Haswell Green. Again, it would take me too long to recite everything that Judy has done and continues to do. So let me also just read what the award says that will be presented to you. A special thank you award is presented to Judy Schneider for her dedication in representing the interests of the community, providing a voice to support their vital issues, and caring for the concerns for ESN's members, both collectively and individually. And now we are going to try to get through this annual meeting without Barry and Judy, and without the help of those dedicated leaders. So in an effort to carry on, I'm going to call on Faith Bondi, one of my co-board members, to join me, who will now conduct the rest of the section of the meeting. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'd like to start by making a, a brief personal tribute on behalf of ESNA community to the Honorable Carol Maloney, who is the GovTrack USA ranked as our top legislative leader in, of the House in 2019. In that role, she helped secure funding for major transit projects resulting in the commitment of billions of federal dollars for the New York State. She's been rightfully hailed as a champion of the Second Avenue subway, and who could forget the iconic image of Carolyn in the 9-11 Fireman's Coat. Uh, bravo to Carolyn for all that you do um, and have done um, for a beacon of leadership you have always been. Um, ESNA presents you with the ESNA 2023 Appreciation Award. Thank you. Thank you so much. This means so much to me. Thank you. 
Axie. I'm so honored to be here, and I'm sad that uh, Judy and Barry are not here. Our prayers, our thoughts are with them. I understand he's in the hospital, and, and he's such a courageous leader. I went to the first meeting of ESMA, the absolute first meeting, when uh, Barry uh, called me up and said, we got to stop this, this uh, MTA taking over one of our blocks and turning it into a parking lot, and what we need is more parks. Before I could talk about anything else, uh, I know more than anyone else how hard it is to be elected official. But I want to mention how honored I am that Keith Powers is here, our, our council member. Has uh, all kinds of important uh, positions in the city council. So I, I am thinking about him. And, and uh, J Barry was the chair of the transportation committee on Community Board 8. And one of my main projects was to build the Second Avenue subway. When I went to Congress, I had a list of uh, 20 things I wanted to accomplish. I accomplished all of them and much more, but uh, not the Equal Rights Amendment, which I'm still working on. But I used to start every staff meeting on how can we move the Second Avenue subway. At the time, two of my projects, the Second Avenue subway and the East Side Connector, were the largest construction projects, not in New York City, not in New York State, but in the entire country. And we got them both completed and built. I'm very proud of that. And in fact, next week, Buttigieg, Secretary of Transportation, will be in New York at a presentation at uh, Roosevelt House and also meeting with me at SBI. Uh, we have been pushing to move the Second Avenue subway up to 125th Street and give the economic benefits to East Harlem that we have received. It was rated by the regional plan as the most important economic development project on the east, not only on the east side, but in the entire state and the entire region. Uh, as Keith knows, and as you know, it was very hard to build. And uh, uh, I see former chairs of community boards here, who's now uh, justice, and uh, so many important people that played a role in it. But Barry, as the chairman of the Transportation Committee, played a, a critical role. We received all the federal funding before we got any state funding. Uh, but next week, the we judge will be announcing $3.7 billion to move uh, federal dollars coming with a, with a full funding grant agreement. That means it will be built. So I'm very thrilled, and I really know that that never would have happened without me. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> and also, the East Side Connector goes into Grand Central. We got that built. But, uh, this kind of meeting in ESMA is about the future, not the past, and, and what you're confronting now is congestion pricing. And I, I would like to say that I would love to continue working with Keith Powers and you as a sounding board. Every single community has had exemptions for the people that live there. And all I hear from my neighbors and my friends is that there is no exemption for residents in the zone, and we have to have one there. And I'm also hearing a lot from vendors, and I think I think there should be equity in things, but the vendors are telling me, if you don't live in the Bronx, then you have to pay to come into Manhattan. So many vendors are saying they won't even come in to do work in the area if they have to be uh, penalized on it. So I think that there are a list of exemptions that we should put forward as a community and continue working on it and continuing to make it happen. With Judy, I work very much on parks, and one of my major projects was the east, we are waterfront. Most of the cities have beautiful waterfronts, we didn't on the east side, but now we do because of the Esplanade, which all of us uh, worked on. We brought in billions of dollars from the city and the state and the federal government combined, and now it is a beautiful uh, promenade for everybody uh, to enjoy. Uh, I, I passed a lot of, uh, landmark buildings, and I'm proud that in the last 10 years, I was ranked either the first, second, or third most effective member of Congress. Uh, <laughs> and I'm very proud of, of being the first woman to represent the east side of my city council seat, which actually our, our, our council members here now, and, and uh, the first to represent our congressional seat, 
and I'm very proud to have been the first woman on the city council to give birth while in office. Many men gave birth, but I was the first one. And uh, also the first to represent uh, and chair the Oversight Committee and the Joint Economic Committee. So it has been the joy of my lifetime to represent you, to work for you. I'm still working at uh, Roosevelt House, and when I lost the election, I said, what can I do that's more important than helping people in Congress? And I, I uh, decided to found an organization called the ERA Coalition. We have now over 300 members that are pushing to get women into the Constitution so that they cannot roll back our rights as they're trying in some states to cut up access to contraceptives. Uh, uh, of course, the Dobbs decision. I would say that there's no democracy if a woman can't make health decisions about her own body. And so I'm working now to try to get the Equal Rights Amendment in the Constitution, but I would also like to host a meeting on congestion pricing with ESMA and other groups to get uh, the facts out and to work on it. I know that this you have a lot of work to do, so I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to say how much I appreciate this award. I appreciate working with you. You've been the voice of the E60s. You've made a tremendous difference in so many ways, and it's been an honor to work with you. And I'm a member, so uh, maybe I'll see you as a member of, of this wonderful organization and my prayers and support to, of course, Barry and Judy. Thank you so much. I have meetings in Washington tomorrow, so I'm going to leave and go to Washington tonight so I can be at my 9 o'clock meeting. Uh, so good to see so many old friends and to meet new ones. Thank you so much for the honor of working with you. Thank you.